pillars of Islamic history. The four rightly guided caliphs stand as towering figures of Islamic history, revered for their unparalleled devotion, leadership, and vision. Their era, marked by both remarkable expansion and profound challenges, encapsulates a period of transformation that shaped the trajectory of the Muslim world. From the consolidation of the Arabian Peninsula to the sweeping conquests across distant lands, these caliphs navigated through times of unity and discord, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire millions. Their stories are not just historical accounts, but timeless lessons in governance, justice, and faith. As we delve into the lives and contributions of Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, we uncover a rich tapestry of events and principles that laid the foundation for an enduring civilization. The four rightly guided caliphs, also known as the Rashidun Caliphs, represent a pivotal era in Islamic history, spanning the years immediately following the death of Prophet Muhammad, PBUH. These four caliphs, played crucial roles in the establishment and expansion of the Islamic State. Their leadership is highly regarded in Islamic tradition for its adherence to justice, piety, and the principles. Abu Bakr, the first caliph, assumed leadership in a time of uncertainty following the Prophet's death in 632 CE. Known for his unwavering faith and calm demeanor, Abu Bakr's short but significant caliphate was marked by the Ridda Wars, aimed at bringing back the tribes that had renounced Islam after the Prophet's peace be upon him death. Through his decisive military campaigns and strategic leadership, Abu Bakr managed to reunify the Arabian Peninsula under Islam. He also initiated the compilation of the Quran into a single book, a project completed during the reign of his successor. Umar ibn al-Khattab, the second caliph, is often celebrated for his administrative and judicial reforms. Umar's decade-long caliphate saw the rapid expansion of the Islamic Empire, including the conquests of the Sasanian Empire in Persia and large portions of the Byzantine Empire. His governance was characterized by a strong sense of justice and accountability, and he established a system of provinces and appointed governors to ensure efficient administration. Umar also implemented welfare programs and ensured the rights of non-Muslims under Islamic rule, embodying the principles of inclusivity and fairness. The third caliph, Uthman ibn Affan, was instrumental in the further expansion and consolidation of the Islamic empire. Uthman is best known for commissioning the definitive compilation of the Quran, ensuring its uniformity across the rapidly growing Muslim world. His caliphate, however, faced internal strife and dissatisfaction due to allegations of nepotism and favoritism in his administration. This unrest ultimately led to Uthman's assassination in 656 CE, a tragic event that marked the beginning of significant political turmoil within the Islamic community. Ali ibn Abi Talib, the fourth caliph, assumed leadership in a period fraught with division and conflict. Ali was a cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet, peace be upon him, known for his profound knowledge and piety. His caliphate was dominated by civil wars, including the Battle of the Camel and the Battle of Siphon, which were rooted in disputes over leadership and justice. Despite the challenges, Ali's commitment to justice and Islamic principles remained unwavering. His leadership style was marked by his emphasis on ethical governance and his efforts to restore unity within the Muslim community. Ali's assassination in 661 CE by a Karijiti extremist brought an end to the Rashidun Caliphate and paved the way for the establishment of the Umayyad Caliphate. The era of the four rightly guided caliphs is often idealized in Islamic tradition as a golden age of governance that closely adhered to the teachings of the Prophet. Each caliph faced unique challenges and left an indelible mark on the history of Islam through their leadership and contributions. Their collective legacy includes the expansion of the Islamic Empire, the establishment of key administrative and judicial systems, and the preservation of the Quran.
their governance principles, grounded in justice, piety, and inclusivity, continue to serve as a model for Islamic leadership. Towards the conclusion of video, I will remind you to like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe to the channel. As we reflect on the remarkable legacies of the four rightly guided caliphs, we are reminded not only of their historical significance, but also of the enduring principles they embodied. Their unwavering faith, steadfast leadership, and commitment to justice continue to serve as guiding beacons for Muslims worldwide. In their stories, we find timeless lessons of resilience, compassion, and the power of unity in the face of adversity. As we honor their memory, let us strive to emulate their noble example, forging a path of righteousness and service to humanity. May their lives inspire us to uphold the values of compassion, justice, and integrity, ensuring that their legacy remains eternally cherished in the annals of Islamic history. Thank you for watching.